Hello everyone! As many of you asked, I will try to make some videos with voiceover. I will start with, start with the questions I receive almost every day in comments. Most of the questions are regarding what paper, watercolor, brushes or even tape I use. First of all, I would like to say that the technique I use is called wet on wet watercolor without drawing. The most important thing in my videos is to see how I develop my technique, not what supplies I use. But I always advise to use the supplies you have at your local store. It doesn't have to be the expensive ones, but quality really matters. If you paint with watercolor, it is very important to have natural hair brushes. Watercolor is a soft medium, so the supplies you use have to be the same. Most of the supplies I use are bought from Nevska Palitra, a well-known Russian brand. I use both watercolors and brushes. I also have Kolinsky and Winsor & Newton brushes and watercolors. Paper Paper is a very interesting topic because on the market we have a very large variety of paper. It is cold pressed, hot pressed, cotton or cellulose paper. A new trend now is even to make your own paper. I use some old type of Russian paper, it is unbranded. It is hot pressed cellulose paper around 200-250 grams. I will not stop at the topic regarding what tape I use to secure it. You can use regular tape that you have home. Wet on wet watercolor means exactly what its name implies. Applying each new color without waiting for earlier ones to dry, so that they run together with no hard edges or sharp transitions. This technique may look effortless, but it is considered one of the most difficult techniques. It is only partially controllable and challenging. The paper must first be well moistened and must not be allowed to dry completely at any time of first stage. Once the paper is dry, you can watch the details or details may be added. In most of my paintings, I prefer soft edges instead of hard ones. I also add white gouache for lighter details. There are many ways of making corrections. Brushing out the pigment, removing paint after re-wetting the paper or overpaint with white or some more intensive colors. If you decide not to make drawings before painting, you can easily, freely and directly draw with the brush for a softer and more integrated effect. You can be as creative as you want. The most important thing is to have a balance between the wet on wet stage and the details added after that. If you decide to paint wet on wet watercolor, don't forget to follow what watercolor can bring to the painting and to work and exercise regularly for good results. Please write down in comment section what else I can say about my technique or art in general. I read all of your comments with a great pleasure even I don't have time to respond to all of them. Sorry guys. Please check my new website where I added some of my new paintings at more affordable prices. I also added prints category I choose from some of the most beautiful paintings of mine. I offer 20% off of everything. Use the code SPRING20 at checkout. And that's it for today. Please let me know if you like it or not. Uh, and I will leave you to enjoy the rest of the painting. Thank you. Bye.